Hey guys, it's Dustin. I'll uh, bring you a video of uh, a guy from my works tank. His name's Tim. Uh, he's the one who came over and helped me set the 65 up. Um, came over and helped him paint the back of this thing and it's a monster. I wanted to bring it to everybody to kind of show you what he had going on, give you a little variety uh, to the channel. Um, so, as you can see here, it's the 150. I've uh, got a Core Life 3. There's three 150 watt metal halides on it, uh, four, I believe, 24 inch compact fluorescent actinics. Uh, the metal halide bulbs right now, I believe he still has 10K bulbs in there. Uh, he's looking to switch those up to 15Ks here in the next week or so. Um, kind of give you a little tour of the tank. Start from the left side and work our way right. And actually, let's go underneath the tank. Start down there. Uh, the filtration system he has is a life free filtration. You see that right there on the skimmer. Uh, if you guys haven't ever heard of these, it's worth a look. It's a very nice high end uh, filtration system that uh, really plug and play. It's a very quiet system. I mean, there's noise, but nothing like the, the DIY system I have at my house. So um, definitely check out his site if you haven't already seen these things. Uh, we have a Looks to be about a 16 gallon refugium over here. It's got some chato growing. Uh, we've got one piece of live rock. This tank's only been set up for about a month and a half, maybe two months now. Um, as you can see, copepods pods all over the glass. Everything's going real well. This chato we bought was like a softball size, and now it's taken over the complete, completely taken over the top of this tank. Um, so that's real good. Everything's going real well down there. Uh, we've got the skimmer. Uh, filtration system got this big monster of a pump there. Uh, second over here, got a couple of chambers with some filter pads in them. Uh, running through the chambers, and that goes over to the the uh, the skimmer section here. And part of it goes back to the tank, and part of it goes into his refugium, and then gets pumped back in to the system. Go ahead and move up to the tank. Uh, for livestock right now, he's got three, the blue green chromie you can see there. Uh, he's got two clowns, and somewhere in here he has a tang, and I do not see it anywhere right now, but I'm sure it'll come out at some point. Run through some of the coral here. We've got some, some leathers and some zoanthids over here. Uh, got some colt corals, a couple of fighting hermits. couple of rocks of some nice oanthids. Get under the white lights here, they're not popping very well, but uh, once he gets those, if it was just under actinix, or once he gets those 15K metal halide bulbs in there, those colors will come out a lot more. Um, see some, some big pallies. Got a bird's nest back there. Recordia. Um, it's got his anemone, his clowns. He had these clowns in a 29 with the anemone. And you can see the female there in the front with more of the black on her. Um, she was chasing the male away a lot, and it looks like in this tank they're getting along a lot better. And we've got some, some other random stuff growing there on the rocks. It's a good healthy system. Um, some smaller three heads of Xanthi, three or four heads there. And the bubble coral, that was in the 29. It started to recede like this. Um, it's kind of maintaining right now, so hopefully he can get that to bounce back. Uh, but as you can see, got a lot of a lot of good growth. I really like the scape that he's got going on here. Really like the rock scape he's got going on here. Um, looks real well thought out. Got plenty of places for the fish to go in and out of. Uh, the other piece of equipment he has on it right now is a WP40, uh, the Vortec or MP40 rather. Uh, he's got a WP-40, I believe two of them on the way, um, in my group buy that I was running for a while that I was participating in. Um, so he's got his temperature gauge there. Temp's a little low right now, but he had some high high temperatures and just installed these two computer fans and last night, and it seems to be doing the job, obviously. Um, outside of that, guys, I think that's about it. Um, come back over here at some point again and do a, another update once this tank gets a little more mature and these things start growing out even more. But as you can see, for a month and a half in, it's got a real great start to it. And uh, 
obviously going to turn out real well. So guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button below. Um, like, comment, let Tim know what you think about his tank. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.